I'm Michael Petting. Welcome to Strokes and Jokes. You know, we've all played a round of golf and we've certainly heard, hey, let's go while we're young, from the classic movie Caddyshack, or you, 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 you want to play a little golf, hmm, hmm, hmm? For the past 30 years, I've been entertaining audiences as a professional headlining comedian on cruise ships, casinos, and of course, golf courses. I love around the golf with my friends, some colleagues. It's a social magnet. So I created Strokes and Jokes when you're having a cigar, you're having a drink. Why not some entertainment, a professional host, a stand-up comedy show? It's a great way to wrap up 18 on the links. How we doing, big guy? I'm good. Uh, it's not raining on us now, so we're still doing good. It's a good day out here. It's the Joe and Uzi Foundation. So, Joe, tell us about the, uh, the heart and soul of the Joe and Uzi Foundation. The heart and soul is uh, my wife, Jen, and uh, she's uh, behind the scenes. But the heart and soul is uh, going out to everybody that's uh, going through a rough time. And that's what we're here for today. That's why these golf carts are filled up. And we're out here trying to do our best to help as many families as we can, along with helping uh, brain cancer research. Absolutely. And uh, golf is something where people always like to come out and uh, they know it's for a good cause. They come out and they swing the club and you brought all your boys here with you today. Yeah, I got a couple of uh, former colleagues of mine and uh, current players. So, no, it's a game of finesse and patience. That is not where you want to be. And with me now is? Ryan Surrett. Hi, Ryan. How are we doing? Uh, well, we've been better. Well, <laughs> Ryan was lucky enough today to bring his tree wedge. You go up, and then boom. Oh, wow. oh See, you make a nice shot, you get a cigar. See, wedge, give me a cigar. So, you know, it's a long drive today, <laughs> but I'm thinking, uh, you know, maybe a seven iron. That'll work. We, we'd be having more fun if my partners could play golf. But that's <laughs> Always, that's what golf is. Throw your partners right under the bus. Now I'm Regis. No. I mean, you throw them right under the bus. Another friend of Joe yeah. and Druzy. Yeah. It never ends. Oh, Billy, 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 Billy. Oh, 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 oh. Caddyshack, is there any better movie out there? Yeah. Huh? Oh, 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 Billy, 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 Billy. Oh, 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 really? Oh, really? <laughs> oh. You know, it's cheesy to see the grin when the ship comes in and you got the stock like a beat. The man of a while, there's a man who can smile. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> when his pants are too tight. <laughs> in the seat. <laughs> Hey, let's go while we're young. <laughs> Looks good on you. Because, uh, you know, that's the way I'm thinking here, you know. It's a little harsh, cannonball it. A little something for the effort, that's all. But this funny man has found another way to tickle some funny bones. Isn't golf amazing? Uh, now, I love announcers, but for golf, I don't get it, you know? Oh, look at Tiger. Uh, he's got about 150 yards up onto the green. I sit about two miles away in an air-conditioned booth. But I feel compelled to whisper. I imagine you can't go anywhere with Michael Pettit and, and not hear a slew of impressions. Yeah, baby! God, is everybody's face hurt as much as mine? Oh, I'm having a blast tonight. So check us out at strokesandjokes.com. At strokesandjokes.com. The grass, I tell you, it's always greener. Boom. Boom. <laughs>